alternative sources of energy. An energy source that can be used instead of fossil fuels. It's usually a renewable source of energy that could be used should fossil fuels run out. Worldwide, with the exception of coal, which has known reserves that will last a couple of centuries, the known reserves of oil are expected to be exhausted in your lifetime. Clearly, alternative energy sources are needed for the future. According to World Energy Report, we get around 80% of our energy from conventional fossil fuels like oil, 36%, natural gas, 21%, and coal, 23%. It is well known that the time is not so far when all these sources will be completely exhausted. Nuclear energy is a comparatively clean source of energy. However, safe handling of nuclear energy reactor is a sophisticated task. And only around 7% of the world's total energy requirement is being satisfied by it today. Alternative energy sources Solar energy Geothermal power Hydropower, tidal power, ocean thermal energy conversion, wind energy, biomass, solar energy is the use of sunlight. Light can be changed into thermal or heat energy and electric energy. Wind energy is the generation of electricity from the wind. Geothermal energy is the use of Earth's internal heat to boil water for heating buildings or to generate electricity. Biofuel and ethanol are plant-derived gasoline substitutes for powering vehicles. Nuclear binding energy uses nuclear fission to release energy. Hydrogen is burned and used as clean fuel for spaceships and some cars. Solar energy. The sun is free. Nobody owns or controls it. In principle, the amount of solar energy that reaches the Earth's surface could provide for all human energy needs forever. Solar energy is a clean energy. It produces no hazardous solid, liquid or gas wastes. It does not create water or air pollution. Solar energy can be used for heating, cooling or electrical power generation. Solar heat has long been employed in passively and actively heated buildings as well as district heating systems. Examples of the latter are the Drake Landing Solar Community in Alberta, Canada and numerous district systems in Denmark and Germany. In Europe, there are two programs for the application of solar heat. The Solar District Heating SDH, and International Energy Agency Solar Heating and Cooling. SHC program. The obstacles preventing the large-scale implementation of solar-powered energy generation is the inefficiency of current solar technology and the cost. Currently, photovoltaic PV panels only have the ability to convert around 16% of the sunlight that hits them into electricity. Both Sandia National Laboratories and the National Renewable Energy Laboratory NREL have heavily funded solar research programs. The NREL solar program has a budget of around $75 million and develops research projects in the areas of photovoltaic, PV technology, solar thermal energy and solar radiation. The budgets for Santia's solar division is unknown. However, it accounts for a significant percentage of the laboratory's 2.4 billion US dollars budget. Several academic programs have focused on solar research in recent years. The Solar Energy Research Center, SERC, at the University of North Carolina, UNC, has the sole purpose of developing cost effective solar technology. In 2008, researchers at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, developed a method to store solar energy by using it to produce hydrogen fuel from water. Such research is targeted at addressing the obstacle that solar development faces of storing energy for use during nighttime hours when the sun is not shining. In February 2012, North Carolina-based Semprius Incorporated, a solar development company backed by German corporation Siemens, announced that they had developed the world's most efficient solar panel. 
The company claims that the prototype converts at 33.9% of the sunlight that hits it to electricity, more than double the previous high-end conversion rate.